Gay you, gay me, gay it together, naturally. <laughs> hey everybody, gay here. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Sup, sup, bitches. 5.40 p.m. on Saturday, the 25th of July. Five months till Christmas, everybody, and only 50. Three days till I'm 40. I know, I know, I look 26. And I'm still single, but hey, tonight, I'm going out with my friends Mark and Ozzy and Mark's cousin Stage to, of all places, the Palms, a lesbian bar. I am sure to find a date in there. Yeah, I'm not going to say much more about that, but if you're out and about, and uh, you want to hang out? Come on and drag us out of the pool so maybe like Mickey's a Rage. Because that'll be more fun. Or Club Abbey. That place is a hoot. Anywho, I got a funny story for you. And it concerns my grandfather, B.B. Rest in peace, B.B. B.B.'s been, he passed away several years ago. But B.B. was married to Nanny, and I'm sure you remember my, my nanny who calls everybody an asshole. And um, I think I told you that last March when I went home to see Nanny, she was riding in the backseat of the car. My cousin Remy and I were taking her out to lunch. And I said to Nanny, I said, Nanny, you have one good-looking grandson here. And she says without missing a beat, if my ass had a nose on it, it'd be better looking than your face. <laughs> Terrible thing to say to me. My grandmother telling me her ass looked better if it had a nose on it. <laughs> anyway, so let me tell you, this is the story, this is how it goes. My grandfather used to work at some ice hockey rink. I want to say the Boston Gardens, but that doesn't sound right. But uh, legend has it that he was really annoyed with a customer's waiting line to get tickets. So he shut the ticket window and he turned to my grandmother, who was waiting for him, and said, These people are a bunch of assholes. My grandma said, Oh, Bobby, don't say that. And he goes, Well, they are. Watch this. And so, um,. I believe my phone is ringing. Let's go see what's happening. Let's see who's calling. Quick, 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 who's calling? It's Brenda for tomorrow night. Hey, Brenda, guess what? You've called right in the middle of a taping of Gay Today, and now you're on it. Hold on. I'm going to put you on speaker. Say hey, Brenda. Well, hello there, gorgeous. Hello. Hey, everybody. This is Brenda Borche. Um... <laughs> The hot cougar of Culver City. <laughs> it's the mom. I caught him. <laughs> With a special needs child. Yeah. <laughs> and I take care of Mikey on weekends. He hasn't told you that yet. Yes, she does. You're gorgeous. We have some great ideas for your new gig. Do ya? Well, hey. Can I call you right back so I can finish this gig right up? You do that. I, I will. Like nobody knows. John's right too. Okay, call us back. Say goodbye to everybody, Brenda. Bye. <laughs> okay. So anyway, my gra go back to the story. My grandfather goes. <laughs> um, these people are all a bunch of assholes. And my grandmother goes, Bobby, don't say that. He goes, Oh yeah, watch this. And um, my grandfather opens the window again. He gets in the microphone and he goes, Hey asshole! And everybody shut up and turns around and looks. And my grandfather goes, See what did I tell ya? <laughs> Ta-da! That's it. Yay, BB. Um, your gay's gotta call Brenda back. And um so that's it. Hope you enjoyed gay today. Your gay's out. <laughs>